Man, what a nice technical fight. Very good performance by Joe Joyce. Still underappreciated, but it's all good. Shout out to all the people giving them props, recognizing the skill and the talent, right? Not saying he's the best, but he's one of them. That's for them sure. Been trying to tell you guys. Look out for Joe Joyce. The juggernaut is coming. Well, he's here. They better fight him, man. I'm not saying I'm picking Joyce. <laughs> Against anybody, but he'll be in some good ass fights and he'll be a handful. If he can walk through Daniel Dubois shots, he got a little rocked. I think it was in the second round or something, but it wasn't that big a deal. He just decided to not get hit with any more, and he did everything he had to do not to get hit with any more. Um, after Daniel, you know, affected him with his power a little bit, but his legs look good, strong. He, they never buckled. His speed looked the same. Like, yeah, this guy, like, he knows his limit. He knows how much he can take. And he's in there taking some of your shots, feeling your power and understanding what he could get away with, what he can't get away with. Because he's slower than all these other guys, so you could catch him in between his punches for sure. Or you could catch him sleeping. But look how much bigger he is than Daniel Dubois. And that's like natural weight. Oh, did you see that? Daniel Dubois looked away. The camera. I don't know. Can you catch it? Are you catching this? Um, he just wasn't mentally prepared. He just wasn't prepared on any level for this sort of experience. Closed his eyes. <gasps> oh, and looked away. Yeah, he wasn't ready, man. Look at Joe Joyce. <laughs> Look at Jojo's chin right now, right? He's bouncing around. His chin is high up, just like Daniel's, right? Let's slow this down. This is it. It's important. Look at how he's going to put his chin down once he stops bouncing. <laughs> you see? He's getting into his construct. He's... Like, the guy got defense, man. But again, you could catch him because he's slower than all these other guys. But that's also because he's bigger. Where's Daniel's chin? First lesson, young man. Tuck your fucking chin. There, Daniel tuck, tucks it a little bit. But not as well as Joe Joyce. These things are just, you know, automatic. They're drilled into these guys. Um... He, the, Joe Joyce wasn't coming to fuck around like with um, even Brian Jennings, right? He stopped fucking around and beat his ass, beat Jennings' ass, but he slipped up a little bit and, and got hurt, right? This, he was, there was going to be none of that in this fight. This was a serious fight, right? And he did a tremendous job. I mean, the guy's just skillful. See his defense, how he blocked that jab. Look at his feet, right? He's light on his feet. This this man is 255 pounds. His feet are pretty fast. He's moving around quite a bit. Look at his active guard, how he's protecting himself from these jabs. Going to the body, fainting with his hands. Reestablishing distance, resetting, right? Boxing. Yeah, he falls off balance. I mean, dude is huge. And he's not no Tyson Fury. But he's a tank. Dude's a problem. Look, look at his feet. Well, look at his movement, right? You can't see his feet, but look at his movement. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Joe Joyce, in this fight, he fought like a Soviet boxer with that Latin style mixed in. Or like a European fighter with some of that Cuban flavor. He fought like a Cuban. Like a communist Cuban, right? Look at him. Stepping off the line, moving his head, 
protecting his chin while countering. Yeah, he fell off balance, but he recovered with the punch. Right? Is that slow? I mean, come on, man. You telling me Joe Joyce is slow? Obviously, he slows down. Obviously, but everybody slows down. Right? Let's look at. Man, we're, we're going to do some film studies of this. I haven't. Look at Joe Joyce's jab. What round is this? I can't tell. It's too low a quality. Round four or something? What round is this? I don't know. Right? Still following the game plan. Moving his head, chin tucked, active guard, feet still mobile. He's not as fresh, but, you know, <laughs> Daniel Dubois is damn near rotten. You know, he's literally falling apart. Anyway. Man, he fights like a Cuban, like a huge ass Cuban. Big ass. Fucking, yeah, man, this guy's skillful. And he just takes that punch like it ain't no shit. <laughs> right? Goes right back to work. Doesn't look affected at all. Oh, damn. <laughs> Bring on Fury. Bring on AJ. Let's see how tough, tough them boys are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're going to be able to hit him. That's okay. We'll see what happens, right? Very, very, very impressive. Very good performance. Yeah, Dubois was overhyped, so let's not get out of hand like Joyce did what uh, what I expected him to do. But very few people expected him to do this. They didn't think he could. You know, they hyped up Daniel Dubois, so don't throw Dubois under the bus. It's okay to humiliate him a little bit, right? He's... But let's not go overboard. Give him a second chance. Let's see what he's made of. Let's see if he can mature and bounce back from this. But um, it's Joe Joyce's time, right? It's his time. Let's not wait him out. Let's not wait till he's 38, 39, 41. All right? Let's put him in there right now and see what happens. It's going to be fun. That's for damn sure. Thanks for watching.